Hey everybody, it's Mike at Angler's Sports Center here. So we're doing a quick how-to video and today we are going to be dealing with some soft crabs and peeler crabs. So we just wanted to do a couple quick rigs here, show you uh, kind of how we rig and what we use to rig with. So first thing I'm gonna start with are soft crabs. So soft crabs are great because fish love them. I always like to say they're kind of like fish crack. Um, almost all fish like them, so they work great cut in half or quartered for rockfish, bigger fish like that. Um, but they're also great for perch, uh, spot, croaker, and things like that. So uh, first thing we're gonna do is take this soft crab and rig them up for rock fishing. So this is a smaller like hotel size soft crab. I would probably end up using half of this, but we could quarter it. So generally speaking, you're just gonna cut it in half like this. And take your circle hook and my main goal is to get it through the knuckles. So on a soft crab, the knuckles are going to be the hardest part, and that's what's going to really stay on the hook. I will also usually rig it back through several times, um, really just until I feel like there isn't a lot hanging off of the hook. So sometimes that's just going through the knuckle and then back through the front knuckle. So I went through the back fin knuckle, and now I'm going through the claw knuckle. Um, quick piece on claws too. I'll usually declaw a soft crab. If it's super soft, it doesn't really make a difference. The main reason I usually do it is once I have two claws, I can usually make that into an extra bait. And it's usually not taking away from the half or quarter I have on here. So we have our soft crab on there. Um, the big thing now is, is if I were to drop this by the Bay Bridge or bottom fish with this, a soft crab or a spot, a perch, something like that is probably going to tear this up and I'm going to lose half of my crab immediately. So these here are a bunch of the different solutions we have for that. So I've been using rigging bands for several years now, and I think they work great as far as a quick way to keep the crab on your hook. So I'll just take this rubber band and I'll double it over, usually just one time like that, just enough to keep it on the hook still have a little bit hanging off, but that works great right there. And, and a lot of times you'll be able to catch a couple fish before you actually really get that tore off. Spot and perch may grab your legs off of there, but other than that, it should be fine. A um, couple other things we have here. So these are all different versions of the same thing. We carry magic thread, which is just a thread that sticks to itself that you can wrap around this. Uh, surf fishermen love it like this a lot because it's, it'll hold on a lot better if you have heavy tides or if you're casting really far. Um, spawn nets are also really popular. So this is a very, very soft, thin me that mesh that you can actually wrap the entire crab on and then hook it. So you could have the crab hanging off or you could have the entire thing on there. So that's also a very cool thing to do there. Um, so we're talking about the claws, like to save them for later type thing. So the back half of a claw is a perfect thing to use on a perch hook. So we just did an eight out circle hook, which would be for like striped bass or some of your, your bigger fish out there. So we got a number four leered hook right here, which is perfect for a spot, perch and that sort of thing. So same, same exact deal. We're gonna try and get the hook through as many times as we can. This is, happens to be a more papery soft shell. So this actually sits on, will thread on pretty easily. Um, my main goal again, just to get it on there as well as I can. The main thing I'm really showing you here isn't necessarily how to rig it, but how small of a piece of bait you can use to catch, to catch fish with. So this which should catch a couple perch at least. Um, and you think about just that tiny back half of that claw, you know, this one claw, I should get at least three baits out of the whole crab. If I was using it for smaller, smaller fish, I should be able to get 30 or 40 baits out of the entire crab. So that's really, really nice. Um, just to be able to get a lot of, a lot of bait out of there. Um, so the other thing we have here are our peeler crabs and, um, people ask what's the, the big difference here. So peelers are really a hard crab um, that has not sloughed out yet. So when you open a peeler, which you can see I've already, I've already knocked the tip off, you can see that that soft, the new soft shell is starting to grow under. So when you fish a peeler, you're actually just taking off this top hard shell and exposing that soft shell there. Most people will take the claws off these because these are much harder. Um, but same thing where you can half it or quarter it. Now these crabs are almost the same size, but I would be more apt to quarter this because it's hard. I know it'll stay together a lot better. So just cutting those into quarters and it's the exact same process. So again, we're just gonna be taking our hook. We're gonna be trying to pull that hook through on the hard points in those knuckles. Um, with peelers, uh, you'll hear a lot of, there are some people who are obsessed with soft crabs, some people who are obsessed with peelers. Um, 
people love peelers because they stay on the hook. That is the big, big thing here. We talked about uh, surf fishing before. Um, it's the same thing with peelers. So you have all that energy that you're throwing this long cast out with and this huge weight and bait can easily fling off. So when you have something like a harder peeler on here, you can't really tell um, where it's hooked through, but it, it, this is very firmly on there. And if I were to add, again, just a rigging band onto this, um, that's a real solid piece of bait that's not gonna come off. So. Up. And as I said, it's on there really good. I mushed it to death with my hand, so it's not on there good anymore. Um, that's kind of the great part of a rigging band is hopefully I can still make it a somewhat of a fishable bait there. Um, so that's pretty much crab 101. Again, they work great for everything. Again, our bigger fish, it's usually halves and quarters getting our hooks through the knuckles um, on the perch you're going to cut every little piece you can um, and just going back to the perch we showed how you can use just the small part of of a claw even little things so this is just literally the shell part i would have no problem taking that little piece of skin off of that shell and putting it on a hook it will work so you don't necessarily just need the body meat and the juice it's all the parts of it i've caught plenty of fish too off of legs and things like that so really great bait um, good for everything and again there's a ton of different ways to rig these up but that's kind of a just a quick look at the kind of the ways we're doing it right now around the bridge and bottom fishing thanks for tuning in